So I'm here with Tim Smichik at the W Hotel in Manhattan. We're going to talk about his equipment today. Tim, what are you, what are you currently playing with on tour? I'm using the uh, Dunlop Biomimetic 300 Tour. And, uh, I mean, do you do any customizations to your racket? Yeah, I, uh, I add some weight to it, uh, change the balance a little bit, and uh, change up the shape of the grip. I've got a grip that's uh, especially fit to my hand, and uh, I've been using it for a long time. I like it a lot. Oh, so you, so you, have, a, you have a custom grip. I mean, was there like a, a process that you went through to, to find the grip that was best for your hand? I mean, how does that, how does that work? Yeah, I, um, I tried out a bunch of different shapes and uh, just basically took bits and pieces of a couple different uh, models and uh, felt good when I, when I held it in my hand and, and that's what I, uh, you know, narrowed it down between a couple different options and, and I've been using it for, you know, six, seven years now. So, oh, so it's actually custom fitted to your hand. Yeah, that's right. What would you say your your grip size is? I mean, I've heard on tour that a lot of players are are going smaller. Are you going with that trend? Or are you are you kind of going against it? Or um, I, I I haven't changed my grip size for a long time. I know some guys are going a little smaller. Mine's probably somewhere around a four and a half. Um, so it's uh, yeah. I, I guess I'm not going with the trend right now. So I'm looking at your racket right now, and I see just tons of uh, lead tape on the the three and, and nine o'clock locations i mean do you do you notice a, a sizable difference playing with a racket without lid tape versus with it on and and if so like how does that affect how your racket plays well uh i like to uh, not have to swing at the ball too hard so i add a lot of weight it um I, I think it's just a matter of personal preference i know that uh some guys use a racket that uh is really light and they like to get a lot of racket head speed and and swing really hard at the ball uh, that's just not really for me uh, right now, so I, I use a little more weight, and I think it's just a matter of personal preference. So uh, I've, I've found a, a weight and, and balance that I like, and I'm sticking with it. Do you notice any particular shot that's that's really affected by the added weight? I mean, that some shots respond differently than others. Um, you know, yeah, I, I think maybe um, with with less weight. Uh, you get a little more spin with more weight. You maybe get a little more power, get the ball to go through the court more. Uh, so that's I, w I was looking, you know, for a little help and, and a little added power to my shots. So that's what I've, uh, we've we've accomplished with that. Wait, so you, what's the uh, what's your current weight on your racket? Somewhere around 370 grams. And have you always going? You had a really successful junior career. I've been mean, going back to your junior days. Were you using a really heavy racket, or is that something that developed when you were on the pro tour? I was actually using a little bit heavier racket when I was a junior, um, but um, a couple years into my pro career, I switched to um, a half-inch longer racket, and then I went down in weight just a little bit. Oh, I see. And with your your string, I mean, what do you what are you stringing with currently? I use Gut in the mains and uh, Babolat RPM in the crosses. Uh, what what brand Gut do you use? Uh, it's also also Babolat. The uh, which brand of Babylon? It's called Tonic Gut. It's um, it's the uh, 15 light gauge. It um, it's a little bit thicker than what most guys use, but I find that it helps. Um, I still get a lot of feel, but it also uh, is a little bit deader than uh, the thinner guts. So it helps me, um, you know, bring bring the ball down more in the court. Oh, really? So you have. So you're not using the the VS gut like so many other players. You use the the tonic, which is actually slightly cheaper, right? It is, yeah. Lucky for me, yeah. It just so happens that I like it better, so <laughs> it works out. You say it it deadens your shots. And what do you could you explain more what you mean by that? Yeah, what uh, with with some of the thinner um, guts or thinner strings in general, uh, the ball can fly a little bit more, and so um, just. The, this is the the combination that I've found that I like, and uh, it um, it allows me to what I found personally is get a little bit still get spin on the ball, but also not have the ball fly through the air too much, and 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 I can get a lot of topspin, so I can bring the ball down late in the court. So it's kind of a compromise between playing with like like all RPM or or all gut. Right, right, yeah. We, by using the um, 
the 15 gut gauge gut, I still get the feel of, of, of natural gut, but I also, um, you know, don't get too terribly much power. I'm looking at your, your dampener on your racket. I mean, is there a, is there a special way that you, you tie your rubber band on there right there, or is it just helter-skelter? <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I cut a rubber band in half and, and tie it on there. I just have found that uh, that's just kind of what I like. It's, it's another personal preference thing. And going back through your playing career, have you, how long have you used Dunlop rackets, and what were you using before then? Uh, I think I've used Dunlop for about four, may, four maybe five years now. Uh, before that, I was using a head racket. And um, when I switched from head, uh, really the only racket I, I tried was Dunlop, and I, I knew I liked it right away. So I didn't need to search any further. Um, I've found uh, that these 300 tours are, you know, great for my game, and uh, haven't haven't uh, haven't varied too much from them. Talk about the the conditions at the Open this week. I mean, do, you, do you notice a, a difference in court speed compared to years past, or or how the balls are moving? And what would you how would you say conditions are playing? Um, I, I think over the years the courts have gotten a little bit slower. I know, you know. Several years ago, the the open was always really fast, so it's it's still a little quicker than some of the courts that we play on uh, during the summer um, summer series, um, and and the balls are pretty light, kind of uh, really fly through the air a lot, and so the conditions are quicker than than most tournaments, but still a little slower than than years past. And were you? This week at the Open, were you, uh, I mean, adjusting your equipment any to to fit those conditions? And if so, like, like how? Yeah, I, I just uh, went up a couple pounds in tension. Oh, I see. And do you have a do you have a a go-to stringer, or, or do you use the tournament location? Yeah, I just use the tournament, and uh, I think they're pretty good about um, whoever, whichever stringer does my racket first, then they'll stick with that person throughout the week. So it was, uh, just stayed real consistent. How many rackets would you say you go through in the course of a of a match? Uh, well, I personally don't break too many strings, so um, for the be for a best of five set match, um, I, I won't go through more than three rackets or so. And those are not from breaking strings either. It's just uh, you know maybe you get new balls and want a fresher fresher string job. So um, yeah, for me, three or four rackets tops. Which is it's not like you're. Uh, it's not like you're switching your racket at racket at regular intervals. It's just kind of when you feel like. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. Um, it, some of the top guys will, will switch every ball change, which I don't feel the need to do that. Um, it's kind of just uh, maybe I feel maybe a little drop in tension, or or maybe it suddenly gets a, a little hotter, or or a drop in temperature, or something like that. Just kind of kind of play it by ear. Well, thanks so much, Tim.